If, like me, you subscribe to a lot of beauty channels, then you've probably already heard this at least 50 times this week. But guess what, guys? It's August favorites time. So today I'm going to share with you guys some of my beauty favorites from the month of August. Holy crap, yes, from the month of August, as well as a couple of book and music favorites at the end to round this video off. So let's get started. I usually leave lips till last, but because like in the steps of how you apply makeup on your face, lips is usually the last thing I do. But you know what? Let's reverse this up and go with lips first. I have a couple of lip combinations that have been my absolute favorites this month. The first is a lip pencil, and it's the one that I'm wearing on my face right this second. It is Max Whirl Lip Pencil. This is just this gorgeous, beautiful, lovely, creamy, neutral, rosy brown shade, and it has been going gangbusters, I guess, around the makeup community lately. I think mainly because of the lovely Miss Kylie Jenner, but it's just a really, really pretty shade, and I'm wearing it all over my lips on its own today. I've also really enjoyed using it as kind of a lip duo with Max Velvet Teddy. This is a neutral brown shade of lipstick, which I don't necessarily love on its own on my lips, but paired with the lip pencil, either all over it, it gives a really nice, it kind of makes this a little bit more brown. Or what I like to do is line my lips with it and fill them in basically by the center and then I apply this in the center because it comes across a little bit lighter and you get a little bit of like an ombre neutral look. Very 90s but I really really like it and for a matte lipstick it's still quite creamy. And then to go in the completely opposite direction I've also been loving some bright colors. This is an old favorite of mine that I have rediscovered. Love it. It's drugstore. It is the Rimmel Color Show Off Lipstick in Shock pink number 220. Just just look at that. It's so vibrant. You can't quite tell in the bullet if it's going to be pink, is it going to be coral, is it going to be red, but it's just this really, really gorgeous kind of fusion of all of those shades. Love it, love it, love it. I love it on its own, but because we are still, we just at the end of winter, I like mixing it with Max Vino lip pencil, which if you guys have seen Vino before, is a really, really dark kind of purpley plum shade but when you mix the two together particularly again line my lips with vino kind of fill it in a little bit and then go all over the top and blend it with this shade you get this really kind of nice hybrid berry pink plum shade I've kind of just done that on the end there really 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 pretty it's what I was wearing in my last two videos on my lips and it's just one of my all-time favorite lip combinations I really really like it and it makes your teeth look really white as well moving on to some face makeup favorites I am so so late on the bandwagon for this foundation that it left it left months ago it is the bourgeois radiance reveal healthy mix foundation I bought the serum version of this quite a while ago, quite enjoyed that, but I'd never tried the, I think this is the original. This one did come out first, it's got a little bit more fuller coverage, it's supposed to give you a healthy glow and a flawless complexion, give you hydrated and luminous skin with fruit therapy, no idea what that is, uh, for up to 16 hours wear, and it is just a really nice foundation. Again. What I've got on my face today, it does give quite good coverage. I'd say it's medium buildable coverage. It gives you a really nice kind of glowy look to the skin and it just, it blends well and I just, I really, really like it. So this is my new kind of favorite drugstore foundation at the moment. Would highly recommend it. I also have a new favorite concealer. This is from Origins and it's the Planscription Anti-Aging Concealer. I have the shade Light and I picked this up from Kit Cosmetics. I believe you can also get it from Mecca Max or Mecca Cosmetica depending on what you have near you or you could also purchase it online from their web stores. This is just a really nice creamy concealer. There's only a few shades but it seems to be quite blendable. It it just sits on the skin so lovely. It has quite good coverage. I've used it today both under my eyes and on blemishes and it doesn't seem to crease too much on me. It doesn't seem to dry out too much on me. A really nice concealer and I'm very happy to have it in my ridiculously large concealer collection. <laughs> Last makeup product that I have as a favorite is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is an illuminator with SPF 25 and I have the shade Opal. It's one of these kind of liquid Oh, it's kind of creamy. It's not super liquidy, but a highlighter shade. It comes to the pump, which isn't too bad. Sometimes I feel like it disperses a little bit too much product. But this is a really pretty kind of... It's not... It's like a pinky, peachy... Not, pe not pinky. It's definitely a peachy 
cream highlight and I, what I love about this, I like to mix it a little bit with my foundation, whatever leftovers foundations on my hand, and just apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. I do have it on my cheeks today, and hopefully the light and the camera will pick it up, but it's just really, really pretty. But when you look up close, it doesn't look crazy over the top. It's more just when the light or the sun hits it, it gives you this like natural luminous look like it's like the sun is just shining on you all the time you can get becca or there are becca stands in david jones here in australia you should probably be able to find it online as well it is an australian brand i believe which is also good thumbs up for supporting local makeup before we move on to skincare i did want to talk about some lashes these are the kiss trio lashes in various lengths and i have the short combo here i believe i also got the medium combo i picked these up while i was in the us and i have just been absolutely loving them i am not a massive false eyelash wearer i used to be a, for a little while particularly when i was dancing when i was in high school i applied false eyelashes all the time got really good at it but i've kind of gotten lazy i I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to false eyelashes. Some of you guys have even noticed, I've had some people comment, why didn't you put false eyelashes in that tutorial? It's because honestly, it, it just takes a lot of time. But these are so easy to apply because there's just like, they're, they're almost like individual lashes, but you get three kind of connected. You can just apply them so easily. They just pick up easily with some tweezers and you can just like plonk them on. It's just they're just if you haven't used false eyelashes before if you're new to false eyelashes i think these would be the easiest ones to use it also has a little glue pocket here so you can put your glue in i've been really loving the ardell lash grip eyelash adhesive pop a little bit in there it's easy to use just use your tweezers a little bit of glue put them on you can use as many as you want you can just put some on the outside you can put them all across and they just they're they're great like I said, I have them on my eyes today. Something different. Ooh, got a little bit special for this video. But they're just really, really great lashes. The one downside is that I don't know if they're available in Australia. I haven't seen them. If you have, let me know. If not, I think I'm going to have to stalk eBay and try and pick some up because I just, I really, really like them. And I think that they're the easiest eyelashes I have ever applied Ever. Okay, so moving right along over to some skincare favorites. I have a cleanser. This is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. This has received so, so much hype on uh, YouTube and on blogs and things like that. So is just cleansing balms in general. Again, a little bit late to the bandwagon with these. I'm a little bit behind. It's probably because I try so many cleansers. And honestly, to me, an amazing cleanser, if is if it can cure my acne and so far I've never found one that can do that so I don't necessarily like to splurge a lot of money on something that's just going to remove my makeup it's only on my face for a little while and this is quite expensive I got this online and I think I paid about $65 for it I got it from Bath and Unwind but I believe you can also get it on Feel Unique and somebody also mentioned that uh, they ship to Australia from the Emma Hardy website haven't tried that out but you can always uh, check it out I have since used it, I since succumbed to the hype and I've been really, really enjoying it. A cleansing balm is kind of like a hybrid between a cleansing oil and a cream cleanser, I would say. This one smells quite interesting. A lot of people say that they absolutely love the smell. I think it's quite a unique smell and I don't think that everyone would love it, but I, I don't mind it. I think it just, it smells a little bit herbally and just kind of fresh. But what I do is I just take a small amount of this on a dry face, really massages it into my skin. It gets quite almost oily, but not as oily as a cleansing oil. So if you've been turned off by cleansing oils, which I do recommend um, to remove your makeup and to, to cleanse your face, then maybe this is a nice kind of middle ground for you. So you do that, massage it in, spend as much time as you can really. I, I will spend a good five minutes at least, if not more, massaging this into my skin because it's so expensive that I, I want it to really really work and then I will jump into the shower because this is what I usually do at night and then I'll use the cloth that comes with it which is really dirty sorry guys um to sort of wipe it off my face with some warm water so this does come with it it does it's quite thick it's not just a muslin cloth it's actually like a proper face washer which I think is good that you, you get that with it and it has a little hook and everything so you can hang it on bath shower kind of thing whatever you have there and then you just wash this you should probably wash this maybe a couple of times a week 
probably more, but I'm a bit lazy and probably do this once a week. And it just, it cleanses my face really well. I'm still not necessarily 100% sure if it's worth the money that it is, but I do see myself using this continually. I do see myself repurchasing this. The other skincare favorite that I have is the Sika Plast, I believe, the Sika Plast Balm B5 from La Roche Posay. This has been a lifesaver for me. This is a soothing and repairing balm. It's supposed to, I think, help repair your skin. It says use twice daily, avoid eye contour area. It's paraben free and fragrance free. And I've been using this on the areas of my face that have really really dry broken flaky skin which for me seems to be around my chin at the moment and also kind of this weird patch on the side of my head and then sometimes around my nose I believe that this is supposed you can use this like after you've had um, facial peels and things like that where your, your skin has been damaged a little bit even if you've done it on purpose to help kind of repair the skin and that's kind of what I've been using it for and it, it has really really helped help clear this up a little bit and help um, add moisture and help the skin repair itself. And the last beauty product I have to share with you guys is a hair product. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. This is supposed to do 10 things in one. It repairs damaged and dry hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stop hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body and is flat iron spray or a thermal protector. That's a lot of things that it does. I don't know if it's it's as miraculous as it claims, but it is a really nice product. I am a really no mess, no fuss. Probably the word that I'm looking for is lazy when it comes to my hair at the moment. My hair routine is pretty much just wash my hair, I towel dry it, and then I spray some of this just all over it and then blow dry it. And I kind of use this as my detangler, as my heat protectant for blow drying. And it just kind of leaves my hair feeling soft. It doesn't make it sticky. It doesn't make it weigh down. And I just think it's a really nice product. Again, not available in Australia, which is really frustrating. I do know that you can pick it up on eBay. There are sellers that will sell it. But I would be interested in hearing if you guys know anything that's kind of similar that you've come across in Australia that you can get here that you like something that you use kind of as a detangler and a leave-in conditioner and maybe a heat protectant in one. So they are all the products that I've been loving for the month of August. My book favorite for the month is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I love Colleen Hoover. I would highly recommend her if you're looking for new adult uh, novels and Ugly Love is a new release for her. Really, really enjoyed it. Had a lot of drama and romance and comedy and I just, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I would recommend that and uh, Colleen Hoover in general. General. And then for music, it's probably not going to be a surprise, but Taylor Swift released a new song at the end of this month, and I I love it. Shake It Off has definitely been my favorite song of the month. I just think it's fun, and it's, I don't know, it just, watching the video clip just automatically puts a smile on my face. I love the fact that Taylor Swift can take the mickey out of herself, that can make fun of herself, and doesn't take anything too seriously and I think that's what endears her to people and what um, makes people love her and why I really enjoy uh, listening to her music. Some other songs that I've been liking this month are Shower by Becky G. I just think that's a cute song again really catchy. Also This Is How We Do by Katy Perry and I'm Ready by AJR. So I'll link all those songs or the videos in the description box below so you guys can check them out if you are interested as well as a list of all the products that I have mentioned. So definitely check the description box. I'll have all the info there in case you missed anything if I was talking too fast. Whatever that may be. I also have links to all my social media and past videos and things like that so check them out. Come say hi. I'm on Instagram a lot as well as Facebook and Twitter and I know a lot of you guys have recently Recently joined me on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter so hi thanks for thanks for, for, for joining my other social media families I really appreciate it other than that I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day share with me your August favorites in the comments below and I'll talk to you all next time bye what is going on with my hair